Hey all, welcome back to another one of my videos, or welcome to one of my videos if you're new. First thing, I want to wish all my viewers uh, peace and, and happiness to you and your family. I hope you're having a great life. And if you do like this video, uh, hit the subscribe button and the like, it always helps me out. But it's not my main motivation for, I just love doing these videos. I travel anyways, and as long as my mom and dad like it, that's enough for me. In this video, we're gonna discover Tai Chung along the west coast of Taiwan. And it was voted one of the most livable cities in the world. So we're gonna find out what makes this one of the most livable cities in the world. So come along for the ride and let's rock. Now getting to Tai Chung from Taipei is really quite simple. You just follow these signs to either the high speed rail or the regular rail. Book yourself a ticket on the train and before you know it, you're there. I just, uh, on a personal note, I want to share a story about these sunglasses. A couple weeks ago, back in Vietnam, I had them stolen right off the back of my head by a monkey and he took him up a tree and he was literally trying to try him on but because the arms fold and everything folds um, he probably would have been able to do it but it, it just screwed him up because of this i can't believe that this monkey just stole my sunglasses took it right off my head he's trying to figure out what to do with it can i have my sunglasses back look at him he's trying them on can't quite figure it out though. <laughs> Thank God I didn't pay too much. I don't know how I'm gonna get them back. Well, as you can see, I got my sunglasses back. I threw him a banana and he dropped the sunglasses for the banana, so everything's good. I'm gonna try out some of these scallops to start my night off here. Love scallops. Look pretty hot. Okay, so now check this out. We're gonna go real adventurous to try some alligator. I think I've been to the South America and the Amazon. I think they call them caimans. And you can look at I think. Okay, so it's French time. I'm gonna eat his brother. <laughs> kind of a shame to say it tastes really good. This is my friend Kim and Jackie, and they're gonna try some of my alligator. And they've never, you never had this before, right? If you had some, what do you think? I think it's like pork too. Yeah. But it has another taste. I can't see how to describe it. Yeah, well, well, I mean, English isn't your first language, so you did very well. Okay, so this is what they call scallion meat skewers. And uh, scallion means onion. I believe this is pork. Mm. Man, everything tastes so, so, so good. Now here's a lot of the food that the Chinese like, the intestines and the organs. Um, you, you know, in North America, this would be the kind of thing you would win uh, the hundred dollars if you could eat it. So I'm not, uh, I don't dare try this. 
so I'm in seafood heaven here. What we got here is a mix between crab meat and fish. And then you got your choice of your sauces. I'm throwing the honey mustard and the wasabi because I don't really like the others. But look at how delicious so it is. Judy's going to try the crab and fish stick and it's got the wasabi on it. What do you think? Really good. Yeah, and I've got mine here, which is the honey mustard. And this is a very smelly fruit called durian that uh, they sell, I think, all over Southeast Asia. But you can smell it a block away. I, I can't get past the smell to try it. So I just ordered a couple of pepper cakes from this, uh, this strong-looking gentleman there. And he's got what looks like a kiln, and I think it's pork an onion sort of in a bun and you see it sticks to the wall they're really incredible so I, mean, I can't wait to try this i'm starting to get full though but uh can't stop eating it i'm at a night mark Okay, so I uh, told you I was going to try this black pepper cake. Uh, I, was, I was too full of the night market. That night market, man, that was like riding a lightning bolt. But let's see how this uh, pork cake. Well, no surprise. It's absolutely um, packed out. I know a lot of people call the Rainbow Village a little bit gimmicky, but Judy and I really enjoyed it, and I guarantee to you, if you're feeling down, come here, and you can't help but smile and be put in a good mood. And it looks like they have all these messages on this message board, and if you look at it, this one, uh, I think I'm finally clean. My goodness, how heartbreaking or, or inspiring. Chang Temple Complex is not only one of the most spiritual and cultural temples in Taichung, but all of Taiwan. It houses, it houses the temple goddess Machu. She is the protector from the sea, brought over from China, and people come from all over Taiwan to worship her. The temple was originally built in 1790. It's important to note the original temple is gone and this one was reconstructed between 1921 and 1928. Yeah, throwing these two stones tells you your fortune depending on how they land.
One of the amazing things about going to the National Museum of Natural History is it's only a five minute walk to probably my favorite attraction in the whole town, which is their botanical gardens. You'll see what I mean. One thing you will notice when you are in Tai Chong is there are these, I'm not even sure what to call them, statues, certainly pieces of art, of dragonflies. And for good reason, they're everywhere and, and they're like snowflakes. There's no two that are the same and they'll even pose for you to take pictures. It's just amazing. Here's This will give you a little bit of an idea. we've come to the end of another one of my videos here in Tai Chung which exceeded all my expectations and if you if you like this video and you want to subscribe and give me a like I would certainly accept it I mean I do this more for fun and uh, as long as my mom and dad like it that's the most important thing and they I don't even think they know how to subscribe so I don't even have them as subscribers but I do it for them but I'm up to 1600 subscribers now which I, I was hoping to get 100 but um, until my my next video I just want everyone to be a good human being and treat, treat people nice and I like to walk the walk not just talk the talk so I do it myself and until my next video Peace out.